Welcome back in with a live look at our alert day status Wednesday into Thursday. It is so great to have you along for what could be a significant blockbuster type of snowstorm. One that puts some historic perspective on snow totals and at this point confidence enough to be talking the potential of 12 inches or more of snow that will be possible followed up by some winds. It's a blowing and drifting of that snow, especially as we get into uh, your Thursday evening. Lots to unfold though as we go through and ahead this week and as we look outside, we have partly cloudy skies We're falling back into the teens very quickly. Calm winds across the area and a wind chill that's going to be negligible through the overnight and into tomorrow morning. I do anticipate a fairly calm setting that will be with us as we get into the day tomorrow. Calm winds now wind chill right around 20 degrees and I do anticipate that we're going to stay fairly quiet as we go through the evening tonight. We have partly cloudy skies and I do expect overall conditions will be fairly quiet as we go into tomorrow morning. Gives you time to prepare and plan for the upcoming wintry weather that's going to be headed into the area. I do anticipate that will be arriving Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Fairly clear, clear conditions on radar and satellite. Uh, current wind chills are going to be falling back into the teens, but let's talk the storm system that's going to impact the area. The Groundhog Day storm. Now, initially, this is going to arrive in the form of some rain and potentially mixing it with some ice and snow that will initially arrive Tuesday night to Wednesday morning. So let's stop the clock here Wednesday morning. And I do anticipate half of our area, especially south of Toledo, still in the form of rain. It will likely be switching over through lunchtime Wednesday to nearly an all snow event, perhaps still a little sliver of ice, sleet or freezing rain across the southern edge of our viewing area that may limit snowfall totals on the southern fringe of our viewing area. It does appear, though, this may be purely a snow event for Toledo Metro and up into southern Michigan, and the heaviest thump of that snow is going to be coming Thursday morning, a long duration type of snow event that's going to be unfolding Thursday morning through Thursday afternoon, and this is where we expect we may get our heaviest snowfall rates through Thursday night with the wind that will be picking up a fine line between where we see the snow, the ice, and then well down to the south, the rain that will become more common. Our corridor, though, northwest Ohio, southern Michigan, squarely in the crosshairs of what appears to be some heavier snow. Now enough confidence. We look at our entire spread of computer models and all those put together. They indicate a higher confidence of talking snowfall totals of around 12 inches or more that will be possible. And again, that is all considered Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday and into Thursday night. So the just released snowfall map and again this over about a 48 hour period. 10 to 16 inches of snow is going to be anticipated. Now the area we need to watch, it's the southern edge of our viewing area. We're going to put a fairly sharp cutoff down to the south where totals could be significantly lower. Should we see that ice materialize? Kind of a trade off there. Not the best news either that you'd be talking sleet and freezing rain and Thursday afternoon evening may get near whiteout conditions or close to blizzard conditions near our lakeshore areas with this significant blast of wintry weather. 31 degrees, the expected high on Monday, a pleasant day. Southeast winds will be light in the morning, 5 to 10 miles per hour through the afternoon. Plenty of time to prepare and to be ready for this storm. Now we do have alert days. They're going to swing into effect. And that is really going to be Wednesday into Thursday. That snow is going to become windy and treacherous. Temperatures will go tumbling through the day Thursday back into the lower 20s. Friday in the teens may start the day below zero into Saturday, and I expect cold weather to stick around this weekend and into next week with highs in the 20s as we go into the weekend and early next week.